<coughs> oh, hello. Alright, so I'm a little sick, but, um, right now I'm making these flowers, these little, like, paper flowers, um, for my mom, for Mother's Day, I don't know if you can hear her out there, but, um, because I can't go out and get real flowers, and I don't want to, I'm cheap, <laughs> and I don't want to pay for flowers, nor do I want to pay a delivery fee for the flowers to come, nor do I want to pay the delivery fee for, um, next day shipping. So, if you need a cheap alternative to flowers, here we go. Now, I will, um, warn you, it is a little time consuming, but, um, Um, it's a little time consuming, but as long as you have time, which, let's face it, what are you doing right now? You're watching a video of me teaching you how to make these flowers. Of course you have time. Okay. So, let's see. First thing you need to do is find some paper to use. Just any paper. Um, I'm actually using... An old, uh, like, H&M catalog that I had in my closet, um, and it's got a whole bunch of, like, pretty pictures and pretty colors and stuff, like, m muted floral colors. So, um, let's see, the next thing you do is you actually need four shapes. You need four shapes. The f first three shapes are going to be um, little like like these. They're just like five petal flowers. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so you need a large one, a medium one, and a small one. The third, fourth, the fourth piece you need is this little triangle with um, a thing coming off of it and this is going to become the center of the flower and the stem and also you don't need any uh, adhesive or like uh, tape like tape or glue or anything to make these flowers so it's it's pretty convenient um, okay so uh, next thing that you want to do, I actually don't know what side I want to use. Uh, I don't know if I should use this side or this side. I'm going to use this side. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is, um, put a dot in the middle of the flower. Like that. I took one step in here. Okay, um, so you put it in the middle, and what you do is take this, and you take the corner and drag it, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, well, hold on, it's, it's like that, let me see if I can just do it better without trying to do it in the camera. Oh, I fucked it up. Okay. So, you need to do things like this. Um, what these are eventually going to become is, well, you also need an exacto knife or um, something sharp, just like the blade of scissors. Because you're not going to cut these lines, you're actually just going to score the back of them so you can fold them over. And I have a minute left. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Um, 
Okay, so I won't do all of them, but let me show you. So I scored the, this one right here. Oh, my computer has 5% life left. Okay, so I scored the back. So actually, if you do this, it makes that part come up a little bit. And it kind of gives it like a cool effect um, once all of them are put together. Once you have all of that done, you do all the other pedals, 30 seconds, um, you do all the other pedals, uh, you know what, I'll just upload this onto YouTube, it'll be easier. Okay, so you do all of the pedals, like this one, and you put them all into order. And once you score all of them, kind of in the middle, it makes like a little indent already. So you poke a hole through the middle of all the flowers. And that's where your um, your stem is going to go. And to make the stem, using this little doodad, excuse me, um, you're going to fold this triangle part. You're going to fold it just about in half so you end up oh, that's not good, but okay so you fold it just about like that and then you fold that half over again so it's like that and then you fold it one more time So it kind of gets like kind of gets skinny like that. So the next part is you want to take. I don't really have any. Um, you want to take something like like this, just really uh, thin. Anything really, but that's to be honest, that's not even thin enough. So what I do is actually just fold it by hand and it gets a smaller piece. So you want to take this part right here and roll it all the way up towards the center. But roll it really small, really small and really tight. And um do 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 do, do. So then you end up with uh hold on. I have to do it over, it was too big. Uh okay. Alright. So then you end up with this this thing. Um what you're gonna do with this is poke this straight up through where did my flowers go? Okay. So you poke that up straight up through all of these. And it's gonna make this. And see the little center part that you fold before it kinda turns curly and ends up looking like this. Also, um I don't know what else I was going to say, but there's a stem. You don't really necessarily have to make the stem this long, but that's just how I did it. And, um, oh, the petals. When you are making the petals, after you uh, score them all and fold them, what you can do is fold them backwards like that. Just to give the um, the flower a little more shape than it would normally have, just flat out, because it kind of looks uh, I don't know, kind of stupid if it's not um, folded. It doesn't look like a real flower. Um, but 
that is it. That's all I have for you. Thanks.